what's the matter with your online course? You put together all this great material and nobody's buying it. Do you want to know why? It's because you're pricing it all wrong. But it's not just you. Everybody's doing this and nobody's talking about it. Now, there are a few people who are making lots of money in online courses, and they've been telling everybody else to do what they do and charge upwards of a thousand bucks for their course on how to make an online course. So what do you do? You launch a course the way they tell you to, you price it real high, you tell everybody you know, and nobody buys it. It's not just you. There's a lot of people in this predicament. My name's Kaylin Huntress, and I'm a digital marketer and a course creator. I specialize in helping authors, coaches, and speakers convert their content into online courses. And that turned into a real problem for me. <laughs> for a while, anybody with an online course could make some good money. In 2015, I produced telesummits full of courses that averaged a quarter of a million dollars in revenue, and we did that six times in one year. And then all the students dried up. Not just for us, but for everybody. Customers seemed to realize that paying $497 for a bunch of pre-recorded videos just wasn't worth it. They weren't completing the courses. They weren't getting results. And they were no longer buying. But thought leaders were still being sold this marketing dream. Monetize your content, put a course online, and you can kick back and watch the cash roll in. But that hasn't been happening for a few years now. And I think I figured out why. You see, an online course is not a class. It shouldn't be priced like a class. An online course should be priced like a book. Think about it. You buy a book for 15, 20 bucks. You pick it up and you put it down whenever you like. It's self-guided material. So you can do a chapter a day or you can tear through the whole thing. It's up to you. And if it's not a good book, so what? You took a risk on 20 bucks and it didn't work. No big deal. But even if it's transformative, if it's a book that you love, a book you hold dear, the book is not that expensive. Think about the last book that you read that had a dramatic impact on your life or your business. You got it? Now ask yourself, would you have paid $497 for that book? Of course not, because books are not priced that way. Because a book is not a one-to-one -one engagement. You don't pay a premium for the material, even if it's great, because you don't have a teacher there to guide you through it. And you don't have a group of peers working through it with you. So why are we charging a premium price for passive online courses? We shouldn't, and I can tell you why. A coalition of online learning platforms put out a study last year, and it's called The State of Online Learning 2018. They interviewed nearly 1,500 online entrepreneurs about their business, how much money they made, how they made their money, the rate of successful course completions, their student attrition and refund ratio, the works. There's a whole lot of data in this report, and there's a link to it in the description below. But here's the highlight. Most online courses excuse me, most online course creators, they don't make their money through online courses. On average, they make 65% of their revenue through services, one-to-one -one services, packaged products, and done-for-you services. 33% of the respondents said they get more than 90% of their revenue through services alone. A distant second is speaking fees. Online courses provide a majority of the revenue for only 3% of the online businesses surveyed. The entrepreneurs that survived are making their money primarily through offering services. Now, I've worked with a lot of online entrepreneurs over the past 10 years, and what I found is that the successful ones, the ones who make a good living by spreading their message, their online courses are just a vehicle to sell their one-to-one -one services and in-person events. Maybe you've seen this with a book. Coaches will often self-publish a book in order to gain credibility and to sell their coaching programs. You read this book, it's good material, and it's name-dropping all the great clients and the great results that they've achieved, and then on the last page, there's a full-page ad for a high-priced group coaching program. 
A book is part of a funnel. It educates someone into doing business with you. Online courses can be used the same way to prime your customer for a higher priced selling conversation. Courses give you a unique advantage over books too. You know who your customers are. If somebody buys your book in a bookstore, you have no way to follow up with that person or to email them or contact them in any way, but you can do that easily with customers of your course because they buy it online. So if an online course can provide you with a list of qualified customers, people who have demonstrated they're willing to take out their credit card and pay you money, isn't that valuable advertising? Why are we limiting this list, excluding potential customers to whom we could be selling, pricing them out of learning from us by charging a high price for an online course? It's because that's what all the marketing experts have been telling us, and nobody has challenged that model. Until now. I'm spending this year working with disappointed online course creators and repackaging their course so that it sells their other services. If you've got an online course and you're ready to make a lot more money this year, I want to help you make that happen. I've got 10 spots available for this 12-month coaching program, and I'm taking applications now. If you're interested in reframing your course as a customer magnet instead of a high-priced class that nobody attends, then apply to work with me at the link below. Good luck out there.